Hey guys, so today I will be showing you uh, the configuration part of VHOL. So the first time when you power on the appliance and if you have properly configured your switch, <coughs> uh, you will see this screen and here it's just asking you if you have set up your switch and the management VLAN, which I have. So click on both the option, click on next. Here you have two options, either you can upload a configuration file so with all the default settings or you can step by step configure the appliance. So I will be going with option one, step by step. Here the first thing you have to do is select your time zone. So we are based in Dubai. So let me see see where I can find to buy time zone here I go Good. now NDP server I have configured my NTP server as my local machine uh, so just let me check the IP address 110 okay. put in the IP address of your NTP server and your DNS server in my case my DNS server and my NTP server and my active directory all are on this machine so active directory it's optional if you want to configure the active directory you can do it right now i think i've already configured my active directory one second let me see reddingtonlab.com so you can put in your domain okay. username is password is your password If you have any proxy settings, you can mention your proxies here. In my case, it's a lab environment, so I don't have any. So just confirm your settings. My time zone is Dubai, and the server, the image server, administrator, and the number Cool. Okay, so host name would be E S E S X E S X I separator. And your domain so this would be a name of your SXI server the separator your vCenter host name should be V Center Server Appliance VCSA VCSA or I would say VCSA in capital VXL Manager hostname I want to configure as VXRail Manager so that would be VXRail MTR Uh, 
starting IP address of my host should be 192.168.10.1 to 192.168.10.4 so you have to make sure that you provide a continuous IP address range of at least four IP addresses in case you are configuring only single appliance in case there are two so you need to give at least eight IP addresses for all the eight nodes like these enter server IP address would be 192.168.10.200 I'm keeping it as default my VX trail manager IP address should be 203 okay. 192.168.10.203 my net mask is 255.255 sorry 255.255.0 my gateway would be 192.168.10.254 Passwords for my ASX, ASX ciphers. Um, you can set a password you want. Okay, let me think my password for the hmm, okay, let's try this. Okay. This is strange. Okay, so set up your password for the ESXi host and uh, set up your passwords for vCenter server and vxrail manager. Okay. So once you're done, just configure, just check your settings once again, your ESXi host, uh, your vSend server host MP3 VCSA, VxRail manager, your IP address range for the host should be four continuous IP addresses, 10.1 to 10.4, my vSend server IP address is 10.200, and VxRail IP address is 10.203. And at last, my gateway, everything is good. Let's click on next. vMotion IP address. So, for the vMotion, I have configured a VLAN 20. So, my vMotion IP address range should be 20.1 to 20 .1 .2 to 20.1. .2 Net mask. 255.255.255.0 VLAN is 20 Okay, so this looks good, click on next, VSAN My VSAN VLAN is 30 so the IP address should be 192.168.30.1 to 192.168.30.4. Network is same to 55.255.255.0. VLAN is 30. Cool. VM networks. 
virtual machine VM network let with a VLAN 110 I don't want to create more right now I will just create it later click next for logging I want to use the realize login site we have also option to use NAN or syslog server the host name for my v realize login site is vrli vrli and the ip address for my login site server is 201 192.168.10.201 so guys so one important thing is you need to first plan your ip addresses create a dns server active directory server and enter all the host names and ip addresses in the dns so that later you don't have any troubles for name deletion or or any of that sort like VxVail manager extension IP address is 202.192.168.10.202. I think this fitting looks good here. Click on next. Okay, now you review your settings. Once you are confident that all the parameters and trees you have put in is correct. Click on validate. Now VxRail will run a validation engine so that it makes sure that all the entries you have made is exactly correct. So we have to wait. Let me pause the video. Uh, okay, cool. So as you can see, the validation is successful. I just did a small change. Uh, the IP addresses that I've given for my vCenter server was actually is being used by some other machine. So I just changed that IP address. Rest is fine. So my validation succeeded successfully. Now I can simply click on build VxRail. And yeah, it will take its own sweet time. So. This is the message your browser would be redirected to this address from now on you will see this address to the to connect to vxrail so basically 203 is my vxrail manager so this is the main management interface from where you can manage your vxrail environment so good i'll click on start configuration uh, click on advance and click on proceed so this process I think take more than 20 to 30 minutes uh, so I will be pausing the video and once it's done I'll come back again it's almost 20 minutes and uh, we reached uh, till 75 percent so I think it will take another 10 minutes uh, after which we can actually get into the VxRail system and start uh, creating our virtual machine so 10 more minutes uh, before completion i'm again uh, pausing the video i'll come back once uh, the 